My favorite. I said I don't eat cream crackers with hummus. I eat salty crackers. Mm. Oh. You guys gonna have Thank you. It's cream crackers. My name is Rory Emmett and I was born in 92. Where were you born? Uh, Cape Town. Art's the only thing that I see myself doing, really. So yeah, it was either music or art and art happened. What crackers do you prefer to eat with your home? Uh, salty cracks, not this. Cream crackers. Nico gets his rosemary crackers from Woolworths. But yeah, I wouldn't have uh, chosen to go to Woolworths and get crackers, obviously. Salty cracks is perfectly fine. You yeah, asked me to ask like to bring a treat of my choice. Yeah, you think you're gonna get another brand of hummus? What is your favorite thing you've ever created? Um, a video piece called Transcending. What artwork can't you let go of? Video piece called Transcending. <laughs> Do you collect anything? Yes, uh, slips from Pick and Play and. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Last book you read? The last book I read was, I think, Eckhart Tolle's uh, The Power of Now. Or oh, no, A New Heaven and a New Earth. I think that's the last book I read. What project are you currently working on? Um, it's a series of paintings called um, Imagine These Trees slash uh, Colored Photo Album. Do you want to show us one? No. Yo. <laughs> you prefer, uh, um, no, I'm actually I'm joking. Check Instagram. I posted one today. What work of art do you wish you owned? Any work in the world? Chrysophilis, The Upper Room, all of those paintings. And if you could meet so. one artist, dead or alive? Mm. At this present stage, John's the rapper. If you could live in any art era, mm -hmm. which would you most identify with? I think 70s and 80s. Why? Because that was around the time of resistance art. Yeah, I think that was a very special time in, in South African art. In that artists were very fearless at that point in history and to a gallery. <laughs> what do you think needs to change in the art world 2017 going forward in South Africa? I think more artists run spaces, more artists run initiatives and yeah, spaces that are accessible to, to everyday people. If, if you were given an elephant and you weren't allowed to sell it or give it away, what would you do with the elephant? Keep it. Where? As a pet. You know, just get a plot of land somewhere, make sure he's happy, Go feed him every day. If you could have a plot of land anywhere in South Africa, where would it be? Probably. The Karoo, the Uppington side, quiet. What's the weirdest thing you've seen happen in a gallery? The weirdest thing? Oh, um, someone was talking about the work. He was a big collector and he was saying like, he was walking around with the gallerist and they were taking him around to go and acquire a new painting. And then he was like, mm, I, just, ah, I just wish it was just a bit more primitive. <laughs> And I was just thinking, what is this, like a performance piece or something? Sure, and that was for me something very strange. Oh, it's a item in your studio. There's a few things, because terps is obviously vital. There's the, my tissue roller towel. That stuff is like gold, white gold. This? That stuff, yeah. Are you gonna catch? Yeah. Yeah, this stuff over here. As of late, my kettle is quite important to me. Are you going to catch? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the bubble wrap, I guess, also for a painter, it's important. Someone who makes um, flat paintings. Are you messy? Good. Are you a messy painter? No, I'm very neat and orderly. What do you wear when you paint? I wear an apron. Can you show it? Black jeans. Yeah. I have a whole lot of t-shirts here. Okay, besides my shirts. These are all white t-shirts. So when one starts <laughs> getting a bit dirty or like smelling a bit muff. <laughs> so I'm yet to wash e any of these. And then this jeans, I wear this. Um, and then this apron. 
a gentleman by the name of Stan the Amon gave this to me. Stan is one of my mentors. Do you give art as gifts a lot? Mm, sometimes. I don't really give paintings that I make away. Um, besides underpricing work. <laughs> what musical yeah. instrument do you play? I play the electric guitar. Yeah. And I love playing guitar. Play blues. Also keeps me happy. I like Jimi Hendrix. I like John Mayer. Um, Steve Ray Vaughan. Favorite place in Cape Town? If you feel like you just need to get away. Mm. I think anywhere I up. I recently found out that you can go to Table Mountain on your birthday for free. So that's been a thing like every every year I'm gonna try and go. When's your birthday? 9th of March. So you are a I have no I idea. <laughs> Let's <laughs> read his star sign. Do you want to read your star Let's sign? Let's read your horoscope for today. <laughs> oh, it's day specific. Wow. Yep. Pay attention okay. pay attention to situations that usually slide past the edges of your consciousness. The universe has a message for you. What's the last thing you turn the bin? A banana peel. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> How often are you right? In terms of being correct. Very often. <laughs> According to me. <laughs> last exhibition you saw? It was uh, the Burning Museum at the District 6 Homecoming Center. And what's the last photograph you took? It was of the board today after my grade 9 class. Did you ever used to write on your desk at school? Definitely, yeah, with my compass. <laughs> like draw a self-portrait and take the same Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make art on, on demand. Draw a portrait. Let me just bring my figure out here so I can get proportions now, Jesse. I like the ambitious size paper. Mm. Maybe I should throw myself painting something. It's been like 20 seconds. <laughs> All done. I feel like you could have just like cut the sauce. Oh. Is it supposed to be like a Dan Altus or self wooded? You said draw. Okay. Did you not make it? I'm thinking Bonolo. Or maybe Bronwyn. Depending on who's easier to get in touch with, but I think Ron and maybe. Why don't we just do both? Why not? I don't want anything. Cool. Coming for you.